everyone! So today I wanted to film a hedgehog basics for you guys. I do have a lot of hedgehog videos that go more in depth with things, but I wanted to give everyone sort of a jumping off point where they can sit down and watch a video and think, okay, I know this information, I need to learn this information. So for any of the points that I'm going to be stating, uh, if I have an in-depth video about it, it will be linked in the cards, which is that tiny little eye in the corner. You can always click that if there are related videos. I'm here with Draco, who is a squirmy worm today and has no interest in being on camera, but we'll, we'll work with it anyway. <laughs> If you see me looking down, it's because I made a list on my phone of what I want to cover in this video, um, just so that I can try and stay on topic, at least more so than most of my videos. <laughs> so I wanted to start with some very basic info that isn't so much about their care, but about them. Um, one of the main points that people seem to neglect to notice is that hedgehogs are nocturnal. Uh, they are naturally up all night long and sleep all day long. Some hedgehogs will wake up during the day, some will not. Draco happens to be the type of hedgehog who will not get up during the day. In fact, even at night he won't get up until all of the lights are off. Uh, he's very finicky about waking up naturally like that. He will um, come out and hang out during the day, but he doesn't do that naturally. That's me waking him up. A hedgehog's lifespan ranges from about four to six years, more or less. Um, it depends on where you get your hedgehog from, what lineage he's from, and if your hedgehog ends up with any life-threatening health concerns. One of the really important facts about hedgehogs that I think a lot of people neglect is their temperature sensitivity. Hedgehogs uh, are not like their wild counterparts. They cannot hibernate, which means they have to be kept in a temperature controlled area or at least a temperature controlled cage. Um, you can do this by using heat lamps or space heaters. Uh, they need to stay 72 degrees to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Hedgehogs are naturally prey animals, which means they are also naturally very skittish. This means that bonding can be difficult. Uh, it's more so difficult if you buy an adult than it is if you buy a baby, but buying a baby is no guarantee that bonding will be a piece of cake for you. Uh, I've, I've mentioned it several times on my channel, but Draco here bonded with me much more quickly than his brother Blaze, who took about a year to fully sort of come around. Something I get asked a lot is if the quills are uncomfortable or painful and a lot of people will tell you it feels a lot like a hairbrush. I'm gonna have to disagree unless your hairbrush is particularly sharp. They don't feel like hairbrushes, they do feel like actual quills. Um, when you first get a hedgehog you're probably going to be intimidated by them a little bit. You get used to it, I promise. As you can see, I'm holding him right now without any issues. Um, and I can hold them when they're fully balled up as well. You will learn how to do that. It may take some time. Do not use gloves. They'll come around and so will you. These little guys are exotic animals, which means their vet care is expensive. Uh, taking them to a vet, you can't just take them to your dog and cat's vet. They have to go to a specialist of sorts. They have to go to an exotic vet who knows what they're doing. And finally, just a, another basic fact is that hedgehogs are solitary animals. They don't enjoy the company of others for the most part. You will see occasionally a couple females housed together. I never recommend housing males together. In fact, I never really recommend housing hedgehogs together in general, male or female. It's very rare for a, another hedgehog to crave the attention of a companion. Uh, if you ever find that your hedgehog is one of those cases, just know that it's very rare. Please don't go around recommending that people house multiples together. That's how fighting happens and if they fight, they will fight to the death. So speaking of housing, let's talk about where you should keep them. 
The minimum cage size for hedgehogs is four square feet or larger. I've covered this in my supplies video. Uh, there are lots of different cages you can use. Some recommended things uh, for you to look out for would be wire cages hold heat uh, less easily. So if you are looking at something like my cage, for example, which is a critter nation, please be aware that my room is warm and they have heat lamps. So uh, their heating is something you have to take into consideration when housing them. If you live in a cold climate, if you like your house cold, a bin cage is far more suitable for a hedgehog because the plastic walls hold heat. You're so squirmy, why don't you just sit? Okay? Um, and also you need to be aware that when you get your hedgehog, you may not know ahead of time whether they're climbers or not. If you get a hedgehog and they are climbing the sides of a wire cage, it's incredibly dangerous. Their arms and legs are very fragile. They hurt them all the time. Um, they're very accident prone because they don't see very well. So if you're going to get a wire cage, there is a risk that you're going to have to modify it. So keep that in mind. All hedgehogs need somewhere to sleep, somewhere to hide. Like I said, they're prey animals. They prefer to have multiple hiding spots. You can use whatever you want. I have found that my hedgehogs like cozier things over um, things like igloos. I've already mentioned heating a little bit, but I will reiterate that there are two adequate, m most common forms of heating a hedgehog. That is a ceramic heat emitter, which is a heat bulb that does not emit light. And there is a space heater. I have a whole heating video that you can go look over. It'll be in the cards. We do not, as a general community, um, recommend using heating pads. They've been known to overheat. If you're on any of the Facebook groups about hedgehogs, which I tend to leave um, links to and such in the down bar, if you're in any of those, you have probably seen some of the hedgehogs with burns on them. So it's not just some sort of myth that we make up. It's very important um, that you're aware of the dangers of what you're putting your hedgehog on. As for diet, hedgehogs eat cat food predominantly for their main diet. Hedgehog food is not recommended as the ingredients do not meet uh, a quality standard that people approve of. Wheels are a crucial part of enrichment for your hedgehog. It's what they do predominantly during the night. Draco hops on his wheel when he wakes up and he hops off when it's time for him to go to bed. He eats, sleeps, poops, and wheels. That's it. Um, so with wheels, you want to aim for 10 and a half inches and bigger. The really important thing about the wheels is that they need to have a solid running surface, no wire wheels for hedgehogs ever. Now, bedding is a pretty broad topic. Uh, the one thing you really need to remember is that cedar is completely toxic for hedgehogs. It will cause very serious respiratory infections, very serious respiratory issues in general. Um, it's something you want to completely avoid. In fact, I don't know any small animals that can have cedar, so that's something to be aware of. If you're going to be using particulate bedding, which means Carefresh, uh, KT, anything like that where it's a loose bedding, sort of like what I have for my hamsters, you want to freeze it at least 48 hours before using it. That will help to prevent mites. Uh, it's not guaranteed that they won't get them. Uh, that is something you will always have to keep an eye out with for uh, particulate beddings, but it does minimize the chances. It kills all of the adults and it does uh, kill a chunk of the eggs. Now as most of you know I use fleece myself which eliminates the risk of mites from from bedding. They can still get it from pretty much any wood item. Uh, but I do use fleece. It's reusable, it's economical, um, and it's cute. Bonding is something that a lot of people have a lot of questions about because as I mentioned previously bonding can be difficult with hedgehogs. With bonding, patience is the key. I find a lot of owners give up on their hedgehogs very quickly, way too quickly. They'll start using gloves, they'll start uh, just leaving their hedgehog alone. 
if you are not prepared to deal with a cranky hedgehog or one like Draco who has been running around this whole video with no interest in actually like sitting and snuggling with me, if you're not interested in dealing with that type of stuff, this is probably isn't the type of pet for you. They're very stubborn, they're very skittish, they're very um, personality driven, which means they do what they want when they want to. Uh, if you're not prepared to deal with that and quills, then uh, I'd recommend maybe thinking about getting a different head, uh, different pet. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of time for hedgehogs to learn to trust you. Um, and that's just a generalization. Some hedgehogs come around very quickly. I'm just saying don't go into hedgehog ownership expecting that from them. And the very last thing I want to briefly cover in this video, which I have multiple videos on, is grooming. Um, it's really important that hedgehogs get their nails clipped. You will have to do that. That's not something they naturally do. You can't be putting sandpaper on their wheels. Uh, some of you might think that sounds crazy, but some of you know exactly what I'm talking about when wheels come with nail trimmers. Hedgehogs walk on the pads of their feet, which means those don't work for them. Natural nail trimmers don't work for them. You will have to trim their nails for them. Bathing, I always say is as needed. If your hedgehog is super dirty, if your hedgehog is um, giving you hedgy hives, which is when you get a slightly um, irritating rash from your hedgehog, uh, those are signs that your hedgehog needs a bath. Uh, they don't always need one. As you can see, Draco has a little bit of poop on his feet. He's got a little pumpkin on his forehead because he was constipated. I'm not gonna give him a bath every time he gets slightly messy, um, but it's all personal preference. You bathe your hedgehog when you need to. Just keep in mind, the more you bathe them, the drier their skin gets, the more you'll have to stay on top of their skincare needs, uh, which means some sort of moisturizer, whether that be coconut oil, vitamin E oil, whatever sort of edible oil you are most comfortable with that is safe for your hedgehog. Um, if you're unsure what is safe for hedgehogs, go to one of the Facebook group pages or ask me on my page, uh, whatever works best for you. So that's some of the very basics of hedgehog care and of hedgehogs in general. If you have any questions or requests, go ahead and leave them down below and I will hopefully get to them. I believe the next video coming out will probably be a meet my pets, but who knows? We'll see how it goes. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed and Draco and I will see you next time. He is very ready to go back in his cage. And apparently the dogs are ready to go too. Alright, bye guys!